On Saturday, bagels and lox were offered by the D&H Canal Interpretive Center in Summitville to call attention to the remnants of one of the canal's locks. Bill Merchant talked about the history of the canal. This is a uh, New York Lock 50, one of uh, 108 that were on the D&H Canal across its 108 mile length. Uh, this lock was like 98 of them after 1850, a composite lock. So rather than being made of stone, precision fit, um, this was made of just dry laid stone that was then lined with white oak, about two inches thick, to make it watertight. Sullivan County's visitors representative, Nancy Bahana, recreated an old canal recipe that she found during her research about the canal. In 1855, there was a woman working as a servant. She was off the boat from Ireland. She'd been in town for a year. Her name was Mary Casey. And her name is associated with Pylock as the baker of the pies. The Interpretive Center's manager, Sean Patrick Moore, talked about the importance of the canal's history and of the Interpretive Center. Our feeling is that local history is not getting adequate attention either in schools and other venues. So we're trying to really doing backflips to try to get people in here so they can see the adults. Hopefully they'll bring their kids. The school trips may start to crank up. We've been trying to get summer camps to come in. So we're not actually that successful yet. So today's big turnout is a big plus for us because we really want to get a lot more people in. There are beautiful walking paths in and around the canal that have informational signage. You can walk in the area even if the interpretive center isn't open. The D&H Canal Interpretive Center is free and open Fridays and Saturdays from 10 to 5 p.m. and Sundays from 12 to 5 p.m. through Labor Day weekend. I'm Jim Sebastian for Mid-Hudson News and Catskills News.